Now, let's make the front leg. This is video number four, the front leg. This is basically a front leg. Uh, we don't need to pretend because this is going to be a front leg. This is what it is. You want to size this front leg to start with so that it fits this joint in here. This one's loose. But when you make your cut, when the seat board is finished, you take your front leg and you size it right in there. Which, of course, this one should be wider for this particular one. But that's how you do it. Put it in there. Now you can sneak up on it. If you have a, a table saw and a good fence, you can sneak up on that cut. You want a good snug fit in here. Once you get that snug fit, you locate the area that you're going to put, uh, that it's going to go onto the seat, the center area that will go onto the seat, like so. <clears throat> Before you put it onto the seat, <coughs> you want to round over the edges. I use my table mounted, uh, my router table to do this. It's a round over in there and I just run it, now before there's a notch, you run it over there and around both sides. Now how do you make the notch? Well the notch is interesting because you want to make that exact. <clears throat> There's several ways you can do that. I'll show you a table saw way to do it. You can put it on your table saw. Bring your blade up to the right height, check your instructions, and cut it. <clears throat> Now, how wide is it going to be? Well, before you cut it, and before you make the total width, you take your calipers, and you measure the tone. You measure the tone. That's where they're going to be. That's going to be the distance, <coughs> the cut distance on your front leg. This distance right here. Okay? On your table saw, get yourself a good straight board. Uh, I don't use this table saw to cut this, but I want to show you how you can do it on a table saw. Um, get a nice straight board. Clamp it to your T-square and uh, set your depth the way you want and set your distance. Put a stop, clamp a stop on this end and then take your calipers and measure this end. Put a stop there where your calipers where you're going to stop there. Okay, got me? And then you just keep going back and forth and waste it. Now, if, and turn it over, do it again, and turn it over and do it again. Now that's one way of doing it on the table saw. You got to clean up that joint again because if you're doing it like that, even if you use a dado blade, there's going to be some messy area in here. It'll be untrue. So you have to clean that up with a uh, a file or a uh, chisel. Okay, and then you got it, got your notch. Now, if you're using your calipers right, you ought to have a perfect fit. It will fit. This portion will fit on the tongue just like it's supposed to. Obviously, this one doesn't, but this is simulated, so you understand what I'm talking about. Okay. Now, if you can't do that on a table saw, I have a jig that uh, I've used for years in this method. Again, I measure the tongue on the seat board, 
And what I do is set my jig, got a little wing nut here, and this jig slides back and forth, and I set my jig to that dimension. Oops, don't let it slip like that. I'm going fast because it's cold in this shop. And I promised you guys these videos, but read the text. You don't even need the videos if you read the text. But in any case, what you do, you want to cut this one. You clamp this on here like that. You cut it. You turn it over. You clamp it so that it's even with that first cut. And this gadget is very handy to do that. You just put that on that cut, keep it flush, slip your jig right up to it, clamp it, make your second cut, and again this way. You can make one of these jigs very simple if you're interested. Let me know and I'll tell you how to do it. Now, once you've done that, you come down to this area of the, the chair that's going to be exposed. This is <clears throat> this is the seat, this is the leg, and you see all of this stuff in here? This stuff in here, let me turn it over. This is coming off so that it's even with this edge here. And this that sticks out this will be cleaned up here. This edge will be taken off. So you mark your leg to this area here and uh, cut it off on the bandsaw. Let's get it. Now, the top and the bottom of the leg has to be drilled with a 13 millimeter hole. And make sure you drill the proper side of the leg, that is the outside edge of the leg, not the inside because you're eventually going to cut this portion off of the leg. And if you got a hole in there, it's going to be gone. So you make sure that your hole's on the outside. Read the instructions, it'll tell you about it. Put a 13 millimeter hole in there. So that's your front leg.